this really bears saying again. I mean, I've spoken about this before some time ago, but uh, this needs saying again, really. And it's simply a case of what are we going to do in the face of all this that's going on everywhere? We have abomination in the White House boasting that America is no longer a Christian country to the thrill and the delight of the perverts and pagans he's surrounded by. We have British government ministers inviting the Antichrist, old ratty in the vatty, uh, the Prince of Perverts Exalted, acronym Pope, to the UK on a state visit, which they know very well that to a Christian amounts to a state visit from Satan. Of course, Ratty in the Vatty is one of their people, and Ratty in the Vatty uh, came over here to thumb his nose at the Christians, and they are all absolutely cock a hoop that Protestant Christianity is dead in the land, and that no one tells the truth anymore, and the new Christians that are coming along behind are not learning anything. They're going to the Pink and Frilly show, uh, known as the local charismatic or Pentecostal church, for some thrashing, bashing and crashing, which even secular folks, I notice, understand is not right. The other day I was, just more of a little private chat, this particular video, the other day I was talking to some friends and it occurred to me um, that the standard, the understanding of what is and what is not Christian now is so far and so badly wrong that there's very little left to be done uh, to correct it other than that God moves in power and reveals his own. Maybe this is where we get to do it. All creation groans, awaiting the revelation of the sons of God, the scripture says. The sons of God, the Lord's people. Uh, because he's after sons and daughters is what our father is after. And he's been pleased, for, he's, he's been pleased to start work in me and I trust in you too. That means that when things suddenly start going really dark and horribly bad, he will arise upon us, as that scripture speaks about. Darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness to the people, but he will arise upon you. And by the power and the light of God will come upon and in and through us, and everyone around us will have no doubt whatsoever that we belong to God. That doesn't mean we're going to be popular bunnies, you understand. But nevertheless, there'll be no doubt whatsoever is what's real. It is only God that can fix this mess now. It's no good, you know, there was a time in the past when even those with scant knowledge of the scripture could have some success in doing church because there was a knowledge of, of uh, God in the land and people did believe in, in a God. And when someone started to preach the law of God and mention the law of God, such as, you know, not swearing, not getting drunk, sort of, um, you know, women in their role and their position and all that kind of thing, people would have realised, oh dear, I made an error, I'll put it right. But now, the knowledge of God is lost. And the knowledge of God has to be restored in the land, and only God can do that. Of course, salvation is the work of God. It's his world anyway. And, and all the creation here that you can see behind me is entirely his. And he's working for his own namesake and he's doing what he wants to for his own namesake. And perhaps now he will move in this putrid, benighted era for his namesake using the few of us. But what's got to happen before there's any restoration, any kind of reversal of what you see going on out there where Satan is having a free run at the moment and filth is the new decency and dirt the new righteousness and unbridled wickedness is considered to be the way ahead and getting rid of Christians and anyone that constrains that in any way is the right thing to do according to putrid polis. As politicians, by the way. 
But if our God moves in power and uses us in what he's doing, once again, there'll be signs and wonders. Once again, there'll be correct prophecy. Once again, people will be being interviewed by media. People could prophesy right into their circumstances and blow them off their seats. Once again, there'll be no doubt whatsoever that there is a God. And the, the, God's presence in us, which is what it was all about in the beginning anyway, it wasn't anything to do with church. He said, you'll receive, you know, when the, he said to the disciples, you'll remember that you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit of God and you will be witnesses unto me, not that you'll go off witnessing. The presence of God in you is what is obvious to those around you. Peter and Paul walking down to the temple to pray. People putting the sick out on the side of the streets just so that if hopefully that the shadow of Peter or Paul passing over them, Peter or John, sorry, passing over them would heal the sick. It wasn't anything to do with the shadow, of course, just the proximity of the life and the power of God. And that life and power of God in us is the only testimony now which can contradict them. It's no good you pulling out the Bible. The Bible says this. The Bible says that. I mentioned a DJ in another video who works for the BBC who'd been to Uganda uh, to ask the Ugandans what's wrong with being a homosexual. Uganda are a very uh, Christian informed society. They're not all Christians by any means but nevertheless and uh, they were still trying to reason with him from the Bible. The Bible says this, the Bible says that. Well, so the Bible does. But what about the person who authored the Bible? What about the person who is spoken of in the Bible? Hadn't we better start with him? The Lord Jesus Christ gave his life on a cross that you and I can be changed from children of Satan to children of God that we can be a walking manifestation of God and all he is. That is the only adequate testimony to those around us. We've got to have this. Our Father has been working to destroy the church religion and Babylon generally for ages. I think possibly the Antichrist religion possibly will go completely and old ratty in the vatty because as that's all some, uh, pushed down out of sight and then maybe that wicked will come the world secular world leader exalts himself above all that which is called God or is worshipped as 2 Thessalonians says however it is the power of God in us that testifies who has the real thing isn't it it's the power of God in you and me which speaks to people, which convicts people. The Spirit of God convicts people of their sin, not the Bible as most fools have it. No good you beating people with the law of God. The Spirit of the Lord God doesn't apply to the unsaved, for goodness sake. The only reason, the only thing that can convict people of sin is the presence of God in us. Okay. That and that alone the Lord God, our Father, our glorious Lord, and our Lord Jesus Christ dwelling in us by the Holy Spirit is the only thing that's going to cut it. Let us pay attention and make sure that we're good ground, as in the parable of the sower. Let us make sure that we are filled. You remember, I think it's Peter wrote, wasn't it? They said, be not drunk with wine, but be be filled with the Spirit of God, as he said there, but actually it's in the continuous tense, be being filled with the Holy Spirit. And it's the power and the light of God in us that testifies to those around us that we have the real thing. Don't ever speak about the Bible to the outside of the unsaved. This DJ from the BBC uh, made this um, a film, as I said, about Uganda, from Uganda trying to look Christian, make Christians look bad for holding scriptural truth. And of course now, uh, homosexuality is the new righteousness and decency, and woe betide decent Christian people who hold actual decency that makes homosexuals feel bad. 
Uh, of course, they've reversed God's authority structure in the land and I suspect that we're very close to things getting really seriously sorted out and I am looking forward to this. But oh God, I pray you will come and manifest in power in your people, Lord. And that you will shake up the world because everyone will understand that there is a real God because they can sense him in his people and they can't argue with that.